presentation to go. So, uh, it's um, Sendil Kumar, or said like a Finnish name, Sendil Paramasivan Kumar. <laughs> he's Indian. Uh, he's a master in muscular and ma manual mas musculoskeletal and manual therapy from Manipal University in India, and he's currently doing his PhD thesis on neurodynamics in diabetic peripheral neuropathy, and this is also the topic of this talk. So please welcome Sandy. Great, great uh, morning to have all of you. And uh, I'm here to present my research report, it's a randomized clinical trial of efficacy of common peroneal neurodynamic mobilization as an adjunct to standard physical therapy in the treatment of people with painful diabetic distal symmetric polyneuropathy. I want to begin with uh, thanking the study participants and uh, especially the International Scientific Committee of the IFOMP 2012 for approving the oral presentation. Uh, diabetes is the leading cause of peripheral neuropathy and the neuropathic pain is the most disabling and a common symptom in diabetes people. The commonest clinical presentation was identified to be the distal symmetric polyneuropathy in the distribution of the common peroneal nerves. We have uh, volumes of literature on neurodynamics in the neuropathic pain conditions ranging from entrapment neuropathies to soft tissue injuries. Uh, neurodynamic assessment involves nerve trunk palpation and neurodynamic testing, while the treatment involves nerve massage and neurodynamic mobilization, which may be either sliders techniques or the tensioner techniques. Previous studies of neurodynamic examinations where the comparison was between the normal subjects with diabetes and diabetic neuropathy have found abnormal neurodynamic examination findings. And uh, this altered neurodynamic findings was also correlated with the quality of life and also the vibration perception thresholds and neurophysiological parameters. We conducted previous clinical trials addressing sciatic and tibial and uh, single session effectiveness of combined sciatic, TBL and the common peroneal, which made us to think if we could study the common peroneal nerve separate. Existing treatments for the diabetic peripheral neuropathy, medical management which concentrates on the diabetes and also for the neuropathic pain, surgical management of nerve blocks and decompression surgeries, physical therapy which comprises of electrical, electrical modalities and exercises. The aim of this study is to study the efficacy of common peroneal neurodynamic mobilization as an adjunct to standard physical therapy in people with painful diabetic distal symmetric polyneuropathy. Materials and methods. The study design is an observer blinded randomized clinical trial. Ethical clearance was obtained from the Institutional Ethics Committee of Kathmandu Medical College, Manipal University, Mangalore, India. All study participants are required to provide a written informed consent prior to screening and enrollment into the study. Purpose is sampling of adults with medically diagnosed painful diabetic distal symmetric polyneuropathy were referred for physical therapy with positive neurodynamic testing and nerve trunk palpation were recruited. The flowchart of the study participants on uh, initial screening of 51 participants, we, we were able to recruit 32 with uh, 16 in each group. Interventions, the control group were given medical management, amitriptyline, antidepressants as per the American Diabetic Association guidelines by an experienced physician. Standard physical therapy was administered by a physical therapist who was in the diabetes clinic. Who prescribed the diet and lifestyle modification including walking exercise prescription for 5 days a week, 30 minutes daily. And foot mobility exercises and balance training. The experimental group received in addition to the control intervention they received common peroneal neurodynamic mobilization which comprised of nerve sliders and nerve massage. The experimental treatment, the transverse nerve trunk massage because there are two directions of techniques, longitudinal massage and transverse. And uh, transverse massage was chosen because the early study on healthy participants showed uh, better efficacy on uh, the vibration perception thresholds. And it was given from progressing proximally and then to distally. 
The nerve sliders, maintaining 45 degrees of slight leg rise, knee extension was performed with dorsiflexion and aversion at the ankle and subtalar joints. And then towards knee flexion with the ankle plantar flexion and subtalar inversion. Maintaining the mid-range movements, free of resistance and of pain. Outcome measures that were selected by the neuropathic pain symptom inventory, common peroneal neurodynamic test, range of motion, which is performed with ankle plantar flexion inversion and then the SLR with the knee in extension to the onset of pain, P1, and the neuropathy specific quality of life. Data analysis was done using the student's T test <laughs> at 9th wave percentage confidence interval using intention to treat principles. Results, the baseline pretreatment between group comparison was not statistically significant. The groups were homogeneous for all the outcome measures. Individually, both the groups have shown improvements, statistically significant improvements in the within group analysis. The experimental group showed better effects than the control group in the between group comparisons. Discussion. The first of its kind as a randomized clinical trial addressing the mechanosensitivity in people with diabetic peripheral neuropathy, addressing the common peroneal nerve. As I mentioned earlier, the previous studies addressed the sciatic and the tibial, which was for five weeks. This study duration was six weeks. And uh, here the interesting to note that the effect size, it was better for clinical significance. All the improvements uh, were beyond the minimum clinically important difference of the outcome measures. And uh, we chose the ADA criteria and uh, we also chose established uh, mechanosensitivities, you know, structural differentiation to be positive. And uh, so the study findings could be externally more valid. The internal validity was high because of the observer blinding and the concealed uh, treatment allocation. However, we have a smaller sample size and the people were from single geographical location and uh, there was no follow up. There was only two times of assessment. Future studies could be done on population based large scale pragmatic randomized clinical trials and also on a mechanism based paradigm shift addressing central sensitization, peripheral sensitization and uh, nociceptive mechanisms. To conclude, the common peroneal nerve neurodynamic mobilization was an effective treatment adjunct to standard physical therapy in the management of people with painful diabetic distal symmetric polyneuropathy with clinically important improvements in neuropathic pain symptom inventory common peroneal nerve neurodynamic test range of motion and the neuropathy specific quality of life. <coughs> I thank the authors for their wonderful references and uh, the ones shown in italics are the one uh, for our previous studies, okay, some of the studies. And, uh, no conflicts of interest in the study and uh, I am honored and I am privileged to stand in front of all of you. And uh, I traveled all the way from India. I came here to Canada second time. And uh, of my 14 countries, I've been traveling in the last two years. Okay, and I want to meet more and more people. <laughs> and uh, I met uh, Dr. Anul Lumayaki in uh, Adelaide. Okay, in April, I attended his workshop, and he is chairing, he is moderating my session. Okay, I'm very happy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I want to share some of my thoughts. Uh, mistake is an opportunity to learn. But an opportunity to learn doesn't necessarily have to be a mistake. Okay. Not told by me. Okay. <laughs> Intellectuals solve problems. Geniuses prevent them. Okay. My, my favorite. Uh, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. And the important thing is not to stop questioning. Okay. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. Okay. Somewhat little thoughts, okay? So thoughts reap action. <laughs> so action and reap habits, so habit and reap character, so character and reap destiny. As you sow, so shall you reap. It was told by Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich. It's a very important book. And I believe in this coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is success. I think we should make our profession successful by working together. And that is what is. The message, and I'm presenting this presentation on the day of uh, the birth of my father of the nation, okay, and uh, Mahatma Gandhi. He was born 153 years before, okay, on the same day. And I was happy to see his statue in the Esplanade Park, okay, yesterday <laughs> evening when he was walking. It was a nice place. <laughs> okay. 
and the beautiful Quebec City. Everywhere you can go and walk up and down. I enjoyed my time here in Quebec City. And this is a photograph of myself in Indian uh, costumes. <laughs> That's my department of physiotherapy <laughs> at my institution and university. And this is my beautiful family. <laughs> and uh, feel free to be in touch with me, contact me. And uh, <laughs> okay, that's nice. I wanted to record one of my boy dancing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all for your uh, what to say, enlightening attendance. Okay, you have been very lively, and uh, wish you all a happy 2013 in advance. Okay, thank you. <laughs> It was individualized as per the palpation findings. So those who had uh, mechanism to be proximally, uh, we addressed the proximal, much proximal part to that area. We did not go to the direct part which was mechanism due to palpation. Okay. In order not to provoke the symptoms, that is very important. Okay, in that case, we'll close this um, session. Thank you for participation and have a nice day. Including me too, huh? <laughs> <laughs>